Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday, January 17th. I'm here at work, um, but I got some good news, I guess. Um, I was just scheduled for a sleep study, um, and I actually kind of find it ironic because now I'm getting the best sleep that I've ever gotten since out of high school. <laughs> so I don't know if they're going to want to do the sleep study. Um, I don't know because I, I still can't sleep without my medication. So maybe it will be helpful. But I also don't know what a sleep study is. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait and see. Um, it's scheduled for next month. So it's got quite a bit of time needing to wait until then so who knows what will happen um it is freaking cold here at least i think it's cold and i'm sure everybody will laugh at me when i say what the temperature is um once again i'm from la it's 74 degrees i'll probably see you guys tomorrow i just want to let you know that i'm working and that i'm scheduled for a sleep study happy wednesday Good morning. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> it's Thursday the 18th, I believe. Yeah, it's the 18th. Um, it's like 9.30. And I have quite a bit of errands to do. So I made a list of the errands that I need to do. And I'm not going to get them all done today. Well, I could if I wanted to, but I just feel so bad leaving Lily in her kennel while I'm gone. So I'm going to split them up into like three days worth and just do like two a day. So today I need to go grocery shopping and I have a doctor's appointment for just like an update check-in from my sleeping medication. And then on the way home from that, I'm going to go get fabric to finish the quilt that I made and also so I can start a new one without feeling guilty. Um, but I'm on the way, on the way, I'm on my way to the commissary now. So I'll let you know what I get when I get back. All right, guys. So I am back and I got a lot of food and I actually managed to get everything vegan so if you're interested in this kind of haul stick around um, if not I don't blame you um, just fast forward to this time and we'll be over it <laughs> okay I got everything unpacked and I realize that it looks like a lot of food it's for two to three weeks so I don't really like to shop for just like a few days I rather think ahead of time and shop for at least a week if not two aiming for three so all of this right here cost about hundred and twenty dollars and I will start to name everything <laughs> all right what side should we start on this side or that side I say that side First, well, I guess I didn't get this first. I technically got zucchini first, but first on the list, I got two bell peppers of every color. I feel like I'm going to drop one of these bags in the process of pulling out one of the bags. We got a bunch of yellow nectarines because nectarines are one of my favorite fruits. Three apricots because they were um, almost $7 a pound. Just a little handful of green beans. One Asian pear because they're pretty freaking expensive. We got a mango, just one. Two red onions. If I'm being honest with you guys, I really hate onions. But I'm trying to venture. I have three zucchini, 
which is what I got first. And three yellow peaches, a bag of cherries, tofurkey, never had it, <laughs> tofu, soy milk, some romaine lettuce, some grapes, some carrots. <laughs> We got some tomatoes. You can call me a white girl because I've never had plantains. Got some asparagus. We got some kale. Three cucumbers. Bartlett pears. Kind of knew that one, but I didn't want to call the wrong one the wrong name. And then I got some of these pears. Yeah, I did. I don't know what these are called. And then I got an eggplant. And broccoli, some kiwis, some apples, We got some bananas, some cauliflower, I got some bok choy, a spaghetti squash, and some sweet potatoes. Alright, so for the canned goods, I only got four. I got some pineapple tidbits because Kyle's not here to cut me open a pineapple and I'm not strong enough to do it. Well, I am, but I'll probably end up hurting myself or breaking something in the kitchen. Um, I got two cans of tomato paste and one can of diced tomatoes that are fire roasted and boy, they add a lot of flavor. Next, I got some couscous. Uh, I actually don't think I've ever tried couscous until last night at my boss's house because the girl I nanny was eating some of this and it had some kidney beans and some kale added to it. I don't think my boss made it because she doesn't cook. Um, I'm pretty sure she bought it somewhere. So I'm going to try and recreate that because oh my God, it was good. Some quinoa with some brown rice. I'm not a fan of quinoa alone. I don't know why. I'm a texture person. Person. I'm a texture person. I'm a texture person and it just is, it's not, not my cup of tea. This box of different flavor rices, there's a bunch of different rice on here. Can you see it? Um, this is one of my favorite rices to cook because it cooks so fast. Usually I'm sitting there waiting for the damn rice to cook while all the dinner is ready because I can't plan rice out that well for some odd reason. So if I'm already cooking and I'm like, oh, I wanted some rice, I'll just throw this in a pot. I got a thing of Cajun bean soup. Um, I've never had bean soup before. <laughs> I lived in a closet, okay? Um, and then black beans because I noticed that a bag of black beans cost less than a can of black beans. Um, they might take a little longer to cook, but it's more for less of a price. Um, vegetable broth. And then I also got some oats to make pancakes, which is what I got the bananas for. And then I got some noodles. Okay, so now that it's over, it's 11 o'clock. Um, I have to go to my doctor's in about, the appointment is not until like one, but I wanna leave here at 12. So I've got an hour. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then clean up around the house because by the time I put all this stuff away and reorganize the fridge and do that, it's gonna be time to leave. I'll 
see in a little bit. Okay, I'm here at my doctor's. Um, I don't know what she's gonna say, so I'll let you know when I'm back. <laughs> so I understand that I'm in Hawaii, but does the whole fabric store really need to be covered in Hawaiian print? Okay guys, so, got some tea for you. Um, I've been going to my therapist now for quite a while and um, she noticed that my sleeping patterns were horrendous. So she sent me to a, a different therapist. I think she's like a, a psychologist psychologist I don't know what she is um, but I've seen her now twice and um, with the combined notes from the first doctor and the notes that she took from both of these times that we've talked and mind you when I go and talk to them I talk to them for like an hour and a half to three hours so it's not like I'm just talking to them for 20 minutes while they see me I'm spilling my life out to these guys, so I have been diagnosed with mild manic bipolarism, and if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I already knew I had this. <laughs> like if you live with yourself long enough, you kind of figure out that you're crazy. Um, they do recommend me getting on some medication, um, but I feel like I have a good grasp on things, like I feel like I can control myself for the most part, um, and to me it's okay to be mad, it's okay to release these emotions, and that's what I do, but sometimes I just take it over the top. Um, but luckily, Kyle loves me, and he accepts me for who I am, and even if I'm a little crazy, he said he'll stick around. <laughs> so I'm very fortunate when it comes to the man I married and the way he views me. Um, but with that being said, they are going to continue to monitor me throughout the next, like, two years while I am here if I continue to go to my therapy appointments. Um, I've been sleeping a lot better ever since I got a new medication from the therapist and I just all around feel better so I don't see why I would stop. Um, with that being said, therapy will be happening again in two weeks. Um, I went to the fabric store as you saw and I freaking found some navy pattern material. I really thought that I was not going to have any luck whatsoever being that everything in there was like Hawaiian, but I asked and they helped me. So, um, it's almost three o'clock. I'm going to go home and have a late lunch and then I'm going to probably just work on the quilt and, uh, I've been working on my quilt, which is under my brown blanket because um, they just ran upstairs. Sammy keeps wanting to like run around the house, and I don't blame her. Like she has so much energy, but she keeps running on the quilt, and it's not helping the situation because it's like one step away from being done, and right now it needs to be kind of tight and. Um, Safety pin, safety pin. So it's safety. Oh my god, I can't talk. It's safety pinned and actually um, duct taped down to my floor. But those little nails on those little claws just get them. Um, I don't know if I said it's 7:15, but it's 7:15. I just had my dinner. Um, I really haven't been taking Lily to the dog park lately because. There's been a lot of complaints about the, like, ticks and fleas for some reason. And then, as of recently, there's been a complaint of ringworm. 
So, and to be completely honest, I was looking at my leg one day and I was like, this kind of looks like ringworm, but I'm not going to think of anything of, of it. You know, like maybe I just set something on my leg and it made a little imprint. I don't know. So I thought it was, but I was like, no. And then literally like a day or two after it was like, my dog has ringworm, my dog. Has... So I'm not taking her to the dog park for a while. Instead, I'm going to go take her on a walk right now, just around. I really, really want to run, but I know she also wants to burn some energy, so my babies come first. Um, with that being said, I'm going to end this here. I know today was a little bit longer than what I normally post, um, but today was quite a busy day. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. It is Friday, and I'll be working. Lucky me. <laughs>